Hey guys, uh, Paul here. <clears throat> Today I'm going to be doing a shave with a, uh, a razor that was sent to me uh, by Mongoose Razors to try out. Um, uh, I was sent the uh, head, a uh, head uh, that's been called the Mini Mongoose or the Mini Goose. Um, here, here's the head. It's kind of your standard Mongoose style uh, two-piece head. Uh, but this one is unique in that it takes uh, injector blades instead of the other artist club blade so here's the uh, this is a Schick injector blade and it just uh, sits in the on the top piece it's like your normal mongoose razor and then uh, that of course fits onto the base plate and there you have it um, I'm using this is a I believe this is a icon uh, travel handle that I got uh, I've always been kind of trying to figure out what I could use this handle with and uh, it really just seems to work perfectly with this uh, with this razor head you know the little mini mongoose and the mini handle so uh, I'm going to be doing a shave with that and I'll give you guys my thoughts and uh, we're going to get underway here and uh, today I'm going to be using the um, this is the uh, St. James Founders Reserve uh, shaving cream. This is a Cedarwood and Clary Sage and I've already started kind of making my lather there and uh, just to kind of speed things up. So I'm going to go ahead and just wet my face and then we'll go ahead and lather up and we'll uh, get going with this uh, shave here. So for the brush I'm using a, uh, a uh, tulip style handle. This was made by Scott Papkovic back in the day when he was uh, still making uh, razor brush or handles when he was still uh, turning handles and uh, this this one is uh, it's really nice I, I'm a big fan of the tulip style handle and uh, he made this one for me way back when and uh, the knot in here is the uh, is a uh, Plisson knot um, I had a extra Plisson brush that he uh, I took the knot out of and put it in this handle and uh, I really really like this brush it's a really really great brush so so this cream has uh, always been uh, really good for me it uh, seems to really lather quite easily and uh, the smell on this uh, cedarwood and clary sage is awesome I have not uh, tried any of their other soaps, but man, the scent on this one is just fantastic. I uh, really love the scent of this. Okay, there we go, we're ready to go. Set that aside, just kind of clean up here a little bit. get going. So I've been using this razor pretty much exclusively for the last week. Um, except for the last couple days, Friday and Saturday, I did use the um, one blade core razor, which I just got. So I'll be doing a video on that, give you my thoughts on that razor here in a little bit. So I have a new Schick blade in here. And just uh, on the first pass, um, I would say that this razor does have a uh, um, fairly aggressive feel to it. Uh, you can definitely feel the blade. It's not harsh in any way, but you're definitely aware of the blade. Um, there's a very good uh, tactile feedback with this razor head. Um, one thing that I have noted is that these blades uh, seem to last me about four or five shaves before they kind of start tugging and pulling.
course, as you guys know, your mileage may vary. Um, but they don't, the blades don't seem to be quite as durable as the uh, Feather Artist Club blades. But they do provide a pretty comfortable shave. I have a, uh, I did try a, a, a prototype of this head back a couple years ago um, when the mongooses were first being produced or first came out, um, and I think that the geometry of the head on this particular uh, prototype uh, seems to be a little bit better. Um, that other mini mongoose head that I tried seemed to be a little bit a little bit of a kind of a harsh feel to it and um, this one I think is a is a much smoother feeling razor so the geometry uh, of the head seems to at least in my opinion have been changed somewhat to provide a, a more uh, smooth shave um, but without sacrificing uh, you know a good tactile feedback. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do our last pass here. So I would say that uh, you know, compared to the original prototype of this razor, this one seems to be much better. I, to be honest with you, was not a huge fan of the original Mini Goose head. I don't feel like that, for me, really was that comfortable of a shave. But this one is really, really good. Um, Whatever changes were made in the design of the head of this, which although looking at it, it looks the same, but there's got to be something different with perhaps the geometry of the the head. Um, it uh, is a much uh, more comfortable shave. Um, it's it's got a nice aggressiveness to it, but yet still. Uh, comfortable and smooth without being overly harsh and uh, I'm pretty impressed with this and uh, um, I would definitely give this a thumbs up. Uh, I hope that this actually uh, ultimately comes to production. Um, it's my understanding that this uh, that, that that's the plan that this is uh, eventually going to be produced. Um, I don't have any uh, um, insight onto the time frame of the uh, when this will be produced, but uh, anyways, it's a it's a really nice shave and razor. I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, I'll be interested to see what the actual handle looks like that comes with this razor. But I, I think that this uh, this little uh, icon travel handle like is perfect for it. It seems to just match it just perfectly. It's a kind of a cute little thing. So anyways, guys, that's my shave today, um, and that's my. Take on the mini mongoose. Um, overall, quite impressed with that little razor. Uh, um, it's a really good shaver, comfortable. Uh, got a nice aggressiveness to it without being harsh. And uh, I think that this this particular uh, rendition of it is a is a real winner. So, uh, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I'm just going to try and pick out some aftershave here. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick out a little, um, I'm going to look over here in my tray. I think I'm going to go ahead and use a little of the Perazzo Red. I've really been impressed with this particular aftershave. I, I like the smell of it. I actually did doctor it up a little bit by adding some menthol crystals to it, um, which did uh, alter the scent slightly, uh, but uh, the uh, the addition of the menthol in here really makes this uh, really uh, a nice aftershave. You know, you've got that kind of nice Parazzo uh, sandalwood smell, and then um, that's coupled with a nice little menthol kick. 
And uh, the nice thing about buying the menthol crystals is you can add them to any alcohol-based aftershave. They seem to incorporate and dissolve in there pretty well. You can add as much or as little as you want. So you can really tailor the menthol feel to what you what you like. So if you have like a, an aftershave that you really like, but you're kind of a menthol junkie, I would look in getting you, into getting yourself some menthol crystals and you can just add a few of them to your aftershave and let them dissolve in there and boom, you've got uh, mentholated whatever. So anyways guys, that's the shave today uh, and uh, I will see you soon. Talk to you later. Bye.